Right, folks, uh, starting this video a little late to the game here, but um, long story short, this garbage disposal under my sink is leaking, and it's leaking internally, so obviously an internal seal is uh, bad. It was leaking, dripping out of the electrical uh, cord area, actually, so it wasn't any of the fittings, wasn't the top, something inside there. So, so far what I've done is removed the dishwasher hookup. And now I'm fixing to remove this here uh, trap and uh, go from there. All right, so that's good and loose. Uh, make sure you have a bowl under there because there will be water. Just going to shimmy it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Garbage disposal a little longer than I reckoned. This is all right, almost there. Oh, that's nasty. Here we go. All right. So now, uh, that's not as bad as I thought, really. Uh, so now we're gonna work at getting this off the underside of the sink. And to do so, we're just gonna get a little pry bar and pry that uh, lefty loosey, and the whole thing should just drop on down. Right, so I'm supposed to get this pry bar in here and uh, turn it, but as you can see, it's awfully close to this. So I'm going to try using my hands first to see if I can get a little clearance to get the tool in there and uh, give it a twist. Right, so I got that off of there now. Uh, in my case, this here is the same uh, for both the old and new, so I don't have to mess with putting, you know, putty up there or removing that part. Um, but I did get this off finally, and uh, next step is really just to mount the new one to that and tighten her on. Right, so the reason I uh, took that old one off first before I went any further with this was to make sure this piece here was the same length and that they didn't have to trim any, any off of there to put it in a drain. And it was the full length, so I shouldn't have any trouble uh, just attaching that, and I'll be ready to install it. Just to show you this is how it lined it up there. We've got a rubber gasket in there already. And uh, you just put your plate over your tube like so. And we'll tighten it up. All right, so there's my new one here. Uh, I got that all tightened down and looking good. Uh, when you put these in, you got to be aware which direction your uh, drains and whatnot are pointing so that they're in the right direction for the drain hookup. Um, and what I'm going to do is lift this up, make sure these little uh, indentations get in the tracks above there. So while holding this up, uh, I will fit that ring over there, rotate it, and uh, hopefully it'll hold it without ripping down the sink. Okay, so I got some more twisting to do. Uh, but I want to go around back and make sure that all three of them tabs are in before I do that. Um, it's looking, it's looking pretty good. It's hard to see. I have to take a selfie or something with it. Uh, but all right, yeah, just keep tightening it up until all those lock into place. There's three, three little grooves there. Right now, I've uh, prepared this drain here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the old one back on there because it wasn't really, wasn't really that bad. So, um, actually, I need to slide that up a little bit. Um, now you can rotate these if your drain, obviously, see that's not gonna work. So you can actually turn this. <laughs> well, that sucks. Uh, so that you give yourself some more room because that's just a rubber gasket that's rotating in there you, you don't want to mess with it too much but uh, that's how we're going to line that up and that's why I'm hooking this up first before I do my uh, dishwasher so here we go okay I just need to hand tighten these I don't need to get too crazy on there uh, now if it if it's leaking later on uh, I'm going to bust out a plier just to to uh, give it a little what for but um yeah just gonna tighten that up a little bit and then we'll be able to hook up my dishwasher drain to that one right up there but that's looking pretty good okay if 
focus. All right, man. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna use two hands here, but uh, you can get that on there real snug. I'm gonna push it in further before I go and try to tighten that um, little band. But so far we're looking good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, I don't pay no mention to that. That was something the previous owner had hooked up. It's all jank. So, uh, yeah, ignore that. Uh, but, uh, so you're going to want to test for leaks. I'd recommend running lots of water down there uh, in your sink before you try turning on the garbage disposal. Hopefully you tested the electrics before you hooked it all up, which I did. Um, but run the water first. See if you've got any leaks coming from here, 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 or even up here at the sink. Uh, if it's leaking here, you're gonna need to tighten that collar. Obviously, tighten that down. Um, so when you go run the dishwasher for the first time, you're gonna definitely want these cabinet doors open so you can keep an eye on that. Kinda looks a little pinched, actually, so I might try that again. But, uh, you know, just be aware that you're gonna need to watch it a uh, first couple of times, and you should be good to go. And that about do it. Uh, check us out next time. Be sure to like and subscribe.